Check this out. It's a cool back to school tote bag. That's what we're learning to make this morning with Crafty McGee. We know her also as Elizabeth McGee. Good morning to you. Good morning. This project may be a little above my pay grade. Is well, it that hard, Elizabeth? I don't think it's that hard. This is actually a really good project to learn if you're a new sewer mm -hmm. or you're interested in sewing, but That's you're intimidated. Me. There you go. Exactly. So we're making our own binding because what you buy in the craft store is limited to certain colors mm -hmm. and it's also very expensive. So you can make this really cheap at home. There are two ways. So the binding, you're talking about the edges of yes. our tote bag. And this is just to finish your seams. Uh -huh. You can put it on quilts or mm -hmm. um, bags, t-shirts, anything that you're making. All right, show me how to do it. Okay, so the first way is just by hand mm -hmm. and you would fold the edges together and then fold it again on itself so mm -hmm. you're making two folds and gotcha. then you would iron it but we're going to use and then it stays it creases the fabric and it stays like that okay perfect so we're going to use this it's a bias tape maker mm -hmm. and you can get these pretty cheap at the store too so it's kind of fun you're just going to push the fabric feed it through the back Oh, look at that. And it makes the first fold for you. Mm. And then it, as you keep pulling it, you would fold it again on yes. itself and pin it, or you can iron it so that it gets a nice straight edge. I'm going to pin it. Okay. And there you go. And then you can keep pulling it out and mm -hmm. continue. Try to keep it um, straight in the back. Uh oh. But if you mess up, you can pull the fabric back through and do it again. I messed up, but Elizabeth, I just fixed, you fixed my, it. Fix my problem. Yeah. All right. What's our next step after this, Elizabeth? So for the um, tote bag, what you're going to do is cut out some different pieces, and then mm -hmm. I'll show it in the next segment how to assemble it. Um, but you can use this binding to finish different projects. You can also use it as straps on something. Mm -hmm. If you sew that open edge, it makes a good strap for different craft projects. All right, we're just getting warmed up. We're going to talk about the handles coming up in our next segment to finish off our cool tote bag. Now, you have a group that gets together, and you share a, a passion for crafting. Tell yes. me about that. So um, DIY Louisville is a group that I'm a part of with Julie, who's usually mm -hmm. here. And um, we just invite everyone to come and craft the first Wednesday of every month at, our co at a coffee shop in mm -hmm. Louisville. And you can find that information on the web page. All right, WDRB.com. We're visiting with Crafty McGee. We're going to finish off our cool tote bag coming up in the second segment. What do you think? I that think look it looks good? good. You're ready to go back to school. I'm done with school. <laughs> but I think I look cool. I don't know. <laughs>